Hello, in this video we want to show you an approach to design digital feedback loop because it is actually software and advanced digital control can be used employing multiple loops, input voltage feed forward and nonlinear dynamic correction. There is also some space for adaptive algorithms but we are not going to talk about them in this video. We are just talking about one step further compared to the analog technology. This step further is using nonlinear dynamic correction, which uses multiple signal propagation paths separated by nonlinear blocks. The discrete transfer functions can be of quite high order. There is no need to be limited by the second order PID chain nor there is need to be limited by third order as is done in some custom digital control chips. Sometimes these high order transfer functions are really really needed and this flexibility is a great benefit of software digital control. Regardless of the complexity of the final digital control implementation, the basic skill is to be able to shape the AC frequency response using discrete transfer functions. To solve this task we have a tool which does the job exactly as we want it to be done. First we open the AC frequency response of the power stage. It can be measured or it can be simulated. In this case it has been measured by the embedded frequency response analyzer of the power supply. The tool uses magnitude response and Baudet relations to reconstruct the minimum phase response. The difference between the measured phase response and the minimum phase response gives direct answer to the question what is the delay in the power stage. This delay includes everything the ADC delay, the pulse width modulator delay, the MOSFET gate drivers delay. It is very important to know this delay because a mistake in software programming can easily lead to an extra unexpected pulse width modulator period delay and this is catastrophic for the power supply stability. The tool allows you to just draw the required phase response or magnitude response. It is able to sync from the modified phase response to the corresponding magnitude response and vice versa using Baudet relations. Once the desired magnitude and phase responses have been drawn, we create the correction AC frequency response as the difference between what we have initially and what we want to have at the end. Next, we specify the discrete transfer function order and generate the coefficients automatically by solving the optimization task. We may apply the generated correction to the initial AC response and see how it looks like. We can also automatically generate the C code and verify that it is correct. And this C code can be directly used either on PC or on DSP. Now we create another correction which has high gain at low frequencies. We draw the initial magnitude response and sync it to phase response. Next we adjust the phase response at low frequencies to maintain stability for high capacitive loads and no load conditions. Then we update the magnitude response at high frequencies to cut off noise. And finally, slight modification to phase response at low frequencies and sync to magnitude.
check the stability margins and create the correction now let's use second order discrete transfer function it definitely does not give what we want to have let's increase the order the fourth order is better at high frequencies but still not enough good at low frequencies the same is true for the fifth order and we end up using the sixth order this gives us exactly what we want it to have check the stability margins and generate C code the C code is more complicated but because it is automatically generated it makes no problem and the modern DSP allows you to run such code in real time even with floating point calculations thank you for watching goodbye